Um, I remember um, when I was in college, I took uh, a terrorism class. And is there a such thing? Yeah, there was. So there you was, go. Out, there is a lab for that. There was. A, there was a class that you. Do you go to lab? <laughs> no, you go we, our we, field we, we learned the, the, the ideology of. I'm glad um, you do that. <laughs> and so it was. It was the the thing that was interesting in the class was. Every time the, the, the professor said Al Qaeda, he sort of like his shoulders yeah. went up and, you know. Yeah, he's in like command here. Yeah. Al Qaeda, you know, has to He's an expert. And it, was, <laughs> and it was, you know, as What's his name? What does he learn? We are not saying his name. Uh, yeah. you, you probably get to see him on, on CNN. Uh, yeah, Al-Qaeda. of course. I love those guys. But, you know, but, but, but it, is, it is that you don't say America with an yeah. intensity. You yeah. don't say England with yeah. an intensity. You yeah. know, you don't, you don't say um, the army with an intensity. Qaeda. <laughs> But you say these these names because you you want that that word to carry weight. You want it to leave something. With, yeah, with it has a cultural that's, meaning, that's not just exactly. Meaning. So it's it you know it's, it's it's said with a deeper voice. With so so yes, it is. But when a non-white commit a violence or misbehave, we condemn the whole culture. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when a white condemned, we, we just go to psychoanalysis that he was, he didn't have a girlfriend when he was growing up. Yeah. You know? It was like he he's not capable of committing violence because he's white. Yeah. So so that that that's an interesting point. When you have an individual inside of um, a, in a, in a Western society that goes on and does commit like mass murder, we have mass shootings that yeah. happen constantly yeah. here. We investigate that person yeah. and what has driven them to commit that yeah. act. When an act is committed by these Muslim, you know, terrorists, what we investigate is that whole community. Yeah. We investigate that whole faith. We investigate that whole society. And everyone is supposed to have some answer to why these people are doing this. When it is those individuals that people need to be investigating, it is their lives that needs to be under the microscope, not the lives of the rest of the community because I am not part of Al Shabaab. I do not I'm participate. I'm totally surprised. <laughs> I do not you, participate. You are a Shabab. Al Shabab is young. Is young. Care was founded after 9 11 because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. The New York Post blasting Omar. Here's Thursday's front cover. But some of her radical cohorts are defending her. Listen to this. This is just pure racist act by many of those, hateful acts by those, because she does speak truth. We are getting to the level where, the, where this is an incitement of violence against progressive women of color. Republican Congressman and retired Navy SEAL Dan Crenshaw also sounding off against Omar, tweeting this. First member of Congress to ever describe terrorists who killed thousands of Americans on 9-11 as some people who did something, quote unquote, unbelievable. AOC coming to Omar's defense with this ridiculous response. You refuse to co-sponsor the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund, yet have the audacity to drum a resentment towards Elon with completely out-of-context quotes. In 2018, right-wing extremists were behind almost all of U.S. domestic terror killings. Why don't you go do something about that? Has faced increased death threats following a controversial tweet from the president. President Trump tweeted Friday, we will never forget, an interspersed video of comments by Congresswoman Omar. Now, this was a retweet, so interspersed those comments with footage from 9-11. Omar responded on Twitter accusing the president of hate speech. She said that this is endangering lives. It has to stop. Ed O'Keefe is following the story from Capitol Hill. The president's not trying to incite violence against anybody. He's actually speaking out against it. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders defended the president's tweet on Sunday, saying the congresswoman has a history of making offensive comments. Democrats refuse to call her out for it. If she continues to do it, the president will continue to call her out. In a statement, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi demanded the president take down the video, saying hateful and inflammatory rhetoric creates real danger. And a number of 2020 Democratic presidential candidates criticized the president for taking his attack too far. 
Congresswoman Omar was speaking to the Muslim civil rights organization CARE in March when she made these comments about the World Trade Center attacks. CARE was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. Texas Republican Congressman Dan Crenshaw was one of the earliest critics, calling her comments unbelievable. Following outcry from Democrats, he followed up Friday, writing, When someone calls out a public official for things they said, it is not endangering their life or inciting violence. Claiming otherwise is just an attempt to silence your critics. Congresswoman Omar has repeatedly faced controversy over perceived anti-Semitic comments. In February, she apologized after suggesting American support for Israel is motivated by money from the Jewish lobby. The comments were condemned by members of both parties, including Speaker Pelosi and President Trump. And a special thanks to Representative Omar of Minnesota. Oh. Oh. Oh, I forgot. She doesn't like Israel. I forgot. I'm so sorry. Over the weekend, Congresswoman Omar defended herself, writing, no one person can threaten my unwavering love for America. Worse, though. So she be, when she began local news outlets, right, they, they uncovered early on in her political career documents suggesting she might have yeah. married her brother, uh, presumably to commit immigration fraud. I think 2Q right. has some headlines here. What? Now, I, 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 what? Oh. Biological brother? Yeah, well, yes. Now, I say, suggest, Game of I say suggesting, don't do it, it's only going to make me mad, and I'm on a roll here. I say suggesting <laughs> she married her brother because it started with sources, which uncovered her ex-husband's name on her marriage and divorce records, okay? Uh, and they happen to be exactly the same as her brother. Ahmed Nur said Elmi. I might not be pronouncing uh. that correctly. I don't care because America. Now... <laughs> Some people may say that's just like John Smith over there. That's why I say I it could be suggesting. We don't know. I don't know. There's like Silva in Brazil is like Smith. Was. But now I'm going to give you that one. But if we continue on down the research trail, school records also confirm that the man she married was living in her father's house in high school. Well, social hmm. media posts show the guy that she claims was her ex-husband now calls her children his nieces. She refers to them as their uncle. Uh -oh. It's awkward. Yeah. Who's, like your favorite? Coincidence. Who's your favorite uncle? <laughs> Papa? I mean, that's really... <laughs> she's the cool aunt and their mother. Now, <laughs> I consider it beyond the realm of suggestion, however. All of this, I encourage you to research it. Go hit the, hit the, uh, the, the, the sources that are listed on the page here. And for people complaining, why didn't you just put it in the description? It would be too long. You can see the sources <laughs> right there on the screen. <laughs> just hit rewind, hit pause. I do consider it beyond the realm of suggestion, however, when you take into account that her brother's high school enrollment records list his date of birth, April 4th, 1985, okay? Okay, okay. Anyone want to guess the birth date of her ex-husband according to official marriage documents and divorce proceedings? What is it? <laughs> Could it possibly? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> April 4th, 1985. <laughs> oh my gosh. So oh, please, if You're you find this too outlandish to be true, I encourage you to look at the evidence for yourself. Eh, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Made a the story broke. The guy deleted all of his uh, media accounts. And her response, I remember she is official statement. She denied it. And she said a difficult part of my personal history that I did not consider relevant in the context of political campaign. She said the insinuations that it, he's my brother that are, are absurd and offensive. Okay. He, he is your brother. How about any proof? How about a shred of <laughs> yeah. proof? Yeah. I mean, if people are saying you're banging your brother, wouldn't you offer <laughs> any proof? If you Just trot out your non-brother husband and shut everybody up. Easy. Now. Is it possible, I, because I have to, in the spirit of fairness, yes. is it possible that she just married a man who happened to have the exact same name as her brother, happened to have the exact same birth date as her brother, wow. happened to live in the exact same house as both her and her brother, and it not be her brother? If I had an eight ball, it'd say, you're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to ask you also about your comments on Israel to remind people what you tweeted about Israel in 2012 during the offensive in Gaza. You wrote, Israel has hypnotized the world. May Allah awaken the people and help them see the evil doings of Israel. You've commented a lot since then, trying to explain what you meant by that. And I wonder just what your message is this morning as the first on our Game Changers series um, to uh, Jewish Americans who find that deeply offensive. Oh, uh, that's a really a regrettable way of, of expressing that. Um, I, I don't know 
um, how my comments would be offensive to, to Jewish Americans. My comments uh, precisely are addressing uh, what was happening uh, during the, the Gaza war. Um, and I am clearly speaking about the way that the Israeli uh, regime um, was uh, conducting itself uh, in, in that war. Critics call anti-Semitic statements. It came as the Congresswoman received condemnation from both parties. Correspondent Doug McElway shows us tonight. Representative Ilhan Omar's apology late today came after a flurry of bipartisan criticism. Quote, we have to always be willing to step back and think through criticism. This is why I unequivocally apologize. It stemmed from her Sunday night tweets that critics say were loaded with stereotypes about Jews and money. Quote, it's all about the Benjamins, baby. When a follower asked who's paying American politicians to support Israel, Omar responded, AIPAC. The American Israel Public Affairs Committee is frequently accused by opponents of fomenting hatred of Iran. Hours later, the House Democratic leadership called Omar's tweets, quote, deeply offensive and demanded she apologize. One Republican critic suggests it's all an evolution of the Democratic Party's embrace of racial identity politics. When you try to cultivate groups on the basis of race or religion or culture, you're going to run into the conflicts amongst those groups on the basis of religion, culture, uh, and heredity. But in a letter criticizing Omar, House Judiciary Committee Chairman Gerald Nadler also accused her GOP critics of, quote, advancing their agenda by distracting those committed to equality and social justice. And recently, DNC Chairman Tom Perez offered only the mildest of rebukes of Omar. The Democratic Party, our, our platform has been very clear about Israel. It's been very clear about uh, dignity for both Israel and the Palestinian people. In a recent talk at the Center for American Progress, Omar said tolerance works both ways. You cannot pretend to stand for religious freedom while you simultaneously threaten to ban people from an entire religion from entering this country. Thank you all for being here and thank you for your uh, testimonies. Mr. Adams, in 1991, you pleaded guilty to two counts of withholding information from Congress regarding your involvement in the Iran Kortra affair, for which you were later barred by President George H.W. Bush. I fail to understand uh, why members of this committee or the American people should find any testimony that you give uh, today to be truthful. If I can respond to that. Uh, um, it wasn't a question. I, I, On it was February, that was it not, was that was not a question. I that was the I. Point I reserve the right I'm to my sorry. time. It is not. It is not right. That was Remember not that a question. The committee can attack on February eighth. Who is not permitted to reply? That that was not a question. Thank you for your participation. On February eighth, nineteen eighty-two, you testified before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee about U.S. policy in El Salvador. In that hearing, you dismissed as communist propaganda report about the massacre of El Mosote, in which more than 800 civilians, including children as young as two years old, were brutally murdered by U.S. trained troops. During that massacre, some of those troops bragged about raping a 12-year-old girl before they killed them. Girls before they killed them. You later said that the U.S. policy in El Salvador was a fabulous achievement. Yes or no, do you still think so? From the day that President Duarte was elected in a free election to this day, El Salvador has been a democracy. That's a fabulous achievement. Yes or no, do you think that massacre was a fabulous achievement? that happened under our watch? That is a ridiculous question. And I yes or no? It. No. I, I, I'm will sorry, Mr. I will Chairman, take that as a yes. I am not going to respond to that kind of personal attack, which is not a question. Yes or no, would you support an armed faction within Venezuela that engages in war crimes, crimes against humanity or genocide, if you believe they were serving U.S. interest as you did in Guatemala, El Salvador, and Nicaragua. 
I am not going to respond to that question. I'm sorry. I don't think this entire line of questioning is meant to be real questions, and so I will not reply. 